Good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy and today me and Matt and Shane are going to Birmingham to the Good Food Live show and Gardener's World Live. Um, so come along. at Gardner's World though, is no, it? No, he's got his own session. I think we're going where all these are. parking. Yeah, there we go. It feels it. We're about to join this standard bunch. What do you think that car park's good? Yeah. You're having a great time already. <laughs> The sun's quite warm actually. Especially when you're not even looking and yeah. they're like, yeah, Have you got a dog? No. <laughs> Yeah, I like them. But then you can walk through it as well. Yeah. I don't have that, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's an S6. No, Samsung Galaxy S8. Do you know what I mean? I think I agree. I think that one is... It just looks like a... Like a, like a tree uh, from a distance. Yeah. Thank you. 
good. God, the apples. It just, they just look like they've been there forever. Look at the big tyre. Big tyre in the middle. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Who are they? Oh, they've stepped out of the Strictly. <laughs> I like it, I like this, I like this, good. Uh, very big welcome to our... Hold on, there we go, good catch. Right, come on Tony, back on stage. Right, welcome to our Bellingham Festival. Good luck, Tony. 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 Oh, look at that. It's not a personal photographer, I'm like the Queen. Don't go anywhere without her. People won't come if it's somebody else. Yeah. It's got to be me, it's, no. Well, it's, uh, yeah, and I think that's the important thing, because, you know, obviously when you run Bake Off, you know, people sort of think, oh, you just run Bake Off, but you didn't. You then went off and actually went and studied. Because yeah, I went to Cordon Bleu, which is in incredible. London, which was great. Very, very old-fashioned. Mm. A lot of mousse. <laughs> we, we made a mousse a week. You know, by the end of it, I was just kind of like, I looked like a pork shotter. Because we ate that much gelatin. Um, but up in here, that's a nice tie as well, that. Yeah. We're going to quickly oh fry some halloumi. Okay. So this is like sag paneer, but I use halloumi rather than paneer. Not out of um, disrespect to culture, because, you know, I would never, never do that. But just because I find halloumi, because it's salty, it goes really well with spices. Because mm. spices need salt. I mean, yeah. all food needs salt for flavour. But particularly spiced food um, needs plenty of salt. Yep. So halloumi is just that. Yeah. You know, every single person who comes in the studio has their opinion heard. Nice. Uh, so Good. it's a really refreshing take on, on daytime TV. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great, yeah. It's good fun. So I'm just going to fry these onions off. Like I said, so as I was saying before, if you put them on a medium heat and leave them, put the lid on, let them do their thing. On a high heat, you've got to keep them moving. So they will go a bit more golden, as you can see. But that's totally fine if you keep them moving so they don't burn and char. Yeah. So it's a quicker way of cookery. And that's what cookery is about. It's about, there are sometimes different ways of the same mountain. And I'm starting to sound like the Dalai Lama. You know, very spiritual. <laughs> but there are different ways of the same mountain sometimes. And this is like the quicker way. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, big round of applause for fantastic John Wayne! <laughs> Woo! Thank, thank you so much. It's incredible to see you. And you. Thank you so much for coming. Make sure you get yourself a copy of John's incredible book. Come in, my man, come in. <laughs> and also check him out on his website, he's going to be up to loads of stuff throughout the year and obviously don't forget things like Steph Pat London. Starting fifty thousand. Is that what you said? Yeah.
Yeah, he said to that guy over there. So. A good food show and gardener's world and we got a goodie bag so let's let's have a look and see what's in it there appears to be lots of leaflets which probably will go in the recycling bin uh, it says it's a serum but there's nothing on it strange oh that's the uh, guidebook that I got while we were there. Some more bump. So what is this? This is an empty <laughs> an empty wrapper which I assume yes the gin and tonic oh it's um non-alcoholic gin. So that's that. And then we have got some hand sanitizer and some vitamins oh there's the serum that's the l'oreal midnight serum some weather's original balsamic vinegar L'Oreal Revitalift Filler Renew. Another hand sanitizer. And an energy drink, which looks lovely. Not bad for a free gift bag. And good. <laughs> Just like zoom right in to see the actual flower. Go on that one, you can see the flowers on that one. So, this is a bee orchid. Yeah, they look like bees actually. Yeah, yep. and it's very rare. Uh, yeah, in England. Yeah, ah, well, there we have it. I'm not going to tell you the location because you know it's, it's secret. <laughs> I'm going to try and guess it. Oh, Have you seen those babies? Did you see them? Yeah, they're yeah, tiny. They're I can't even see them on the camera. How beautiful are these? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this lot are aggressive. Look at that runner. Yeah, yeah angry. Angry birds. We're surrounded here. We'll peck you as well. Just mind the orchid. So these brownies we bought from the Good Food shirt today and we are going to enjoy them shortly. We've got Mars bar, Jaffa cake, chocolate orange and Malteser. Yum!